have a head coach say something like that about you when they have to praise you in front of your teammates after a game like this? Yeah, I mean, it means a lot because, I mean, I come in here every day, I'm working my butt off, you know, trying to get better. I mean, not letting, you know, whether I'm playing or not, you know, get to me, just trying to take it one day at a time and make sure that I'm getting better every day. So for him to have seen that and to acknowledge that um, feels great. feels really good. So on a night like tonight where the, the team's just very small and in the, in the front, like in the backcourt, basically, small guards, and mm -hmm. you're dealing big out there with that second unit. How much of a responsibility do you have? You have to hold down the middle in that case. Just like that. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I played the five a lot at Arizona. And I think that that's something I'm capable of. I feel like whatever position I'm really needed at, I feel like I can fill that role. And tonight I needed to play the five and, you know, play more of a, a big man role. And I feel like, you know, I just gave it my all. I feel like um, overall I did a pretty good job. Yeah, man, uh, Bones is awesome. I mean, we get along really well. He's, I mean, everyone loves him. And uh, I feel like we have, we have pretty good chemistry. Um, he knows where to find me, uh, where I like to have the ball. I mean, he hit me a lot. I, I got most of my buckets from him, so I definitely owe him a dinner. Yeah, yeah, no, it meant a lot. I mean, I knew summer league wasn't was my best showing. I mean, I was in my uh, apartment for like a week because we had some issues with COVID and things like that. So I didn't feel like um, I had my best. Uh, it was pretty bad, but I mean, I mean, I didn't, I didn't let that get to me. And for him to say that as well, um, show that they still had confidence in me and, and they trusted me and uh, that meant a lot. And so, I mean, when I get out there today, I'm not, I'm not thinking about anything in the past. I mean, it's just make the most of the opportunity I'm given. So, yeah. There, there was a possession tonight where Miles Turner backed off of you at the top of the key. Yeah. Uh, just hitting a three in, in, in that situation where they offer that to you and you take it. How important has it been to just see the ball go through the net, uh, especially when it's a struggle? Oh, yeah. I mean, I have um, incredible confidence in my three point shooting. Um, and I'm surprised that, you know, they didn't, they didn't really watch the film because that's, that's what I did a lot, especially last year, too. But uh, yeah, it was wide open. Um, didn't think about it, just shot it. I mean, whenever I'm open, I'm not going to hesitate. Uh, I have confidence in my shot. I feel like I work on it a lot, so I'm never going to hesitate to pull the trigger. When did you know that you were going to get a substantial minutes tonight? Was there a conversation with you? Did you keep wanting? Did you have to think it through that process? Yeah, so this morning uh, before my workout, um, coach you know, pulled me aside and he said that, you know, Yoke's out for a game, so uh, I got to step up and he knows that uh, I've been working my butt off uh, every day. And he said, just make the most of the opportunity and always stay ready. And so that's what I did. And, you know, I felt like um, by him come, coming and telling me, you know, that helped me a lot, you know, just mentally preparing things like that. What was your day like from a professional standpoint? How was your practice? Did you know you were going to get some Yeah, I mean, it was, it was just doing a lot of the things that I did on the court, you know, um, screening and rolling, because I knew we knew that we were going to be a little smaller. I was gonna have to play that five, so uh, simulating a lot of things that I might see in the game. I know you said that you you feel comfortable playing at different positions, or you know, doing whatever the team needs you to do. Uh, on this team specifically, <laughs> where Nicole is really the only true three mm -hmm. uh, out there, so does that seem like the five might be a good avenue for you going forward, just to continue to get some time? Um, yeah, I don't I don't think that. I mean, usually if we have him out there or uh, Jamichael, I mean they're usually probably the fives, but I mean, I think that my true position is a four. I mean, I can do three, I can do five, but um, yeah, I mean, I'm just, I feel like whatever position I'm needed at, you know, I'll be ready for that and I'll, I'll take advantage of that. Where do you think you get your stay ready mentality from? I mean, Coach Malone said it might be from your family or your parents, but the fact that you always have a great attitude and you give you an opportunity to be prepared. Yeah, um, it's really my parents, you know, how they raised me. Um, they, they said that, you know, I mean, growing up, they always taught me that even if things aren't going your way or you're not where you want to be, don't don't dwell on the negative. You know, always look at the positives. And positives in this situation was I'm not playing, but I have an opportunity every day to to work out a lot and to get better and to continue to improve my game so that when I am called upon, that I can go out there and and, and perform. So 
that's really been my mentality ever since I got to the NBA. Is there anything that you have learned from watching Nikola Jokic that Yeah, I mean, he's just, he's really everywhere. I mean, he has incredible impact on both ends of the floor, whether he's in uh, defense, pick and rolls, his hands, you know, being able to deflect uh, balls and things like that, um, or on offense, you know, setting good screens and being able to facilitate things like that. I felt like coming in, especially in that, uh, in my in the second unit, I really needed to, um, to screen a lot and to get guys open with my screening and then uh, crash on the boards, roll hard, things like that, especially when we got a lot of smaller guys and I'm the only big guy to do more rolls and um, dive into the basket, so yeah. Who are rookie individuals that look at that as their game? I mean, a lot, you know, defensively, footwork, things like that, um, switching, um, offensively, shooting threes, um, attacking the basket, um, picking and popping, picking and rolling, a whole bunch of things like that. Take a couple quick ones on the Zoom. Go ahead, Joel Rush. Hey, Zeke, uh, the two-man game between you and Bones in that first half especially looked surprisingly polished for how little you guys have played together in the regular season. Is that something you've been working on in practice, or did that just kind of click into place tonight? Yeah, definitely. I mean, we played we played a lot, you know, over summer league, things like that, and um, before in training camp. And then even uh, beginning of the year, we did a lot of, like, three-on-three three when we weren't playing. And um, during those, like, times, I feel like that really helped us to – Develop that chemistry and yeah, I mean, it's beneficial for us. Last one, Esteban, go ahead. Hi, see, congrats for the win on your career high uh, from Cordoba, Argentina. Uh, tonight you have a big responsibility playing against Turner and Sabonis. How important was for you win this game and for the moral of the team win the game? Without Nicola, Jamal, and Porter Jr. for first time in two in the last two seasons. Yeah, I mean that was big because I mean we we had our, our three highest paying guys you know out, but uh, this team really has a next man up mentality, and we really trust each other, and we feel like everyone is capable of uh, helping this team win. I mean, and just because they they weren't in, they weren't in the game or they weren't playing with us doesn't discourage us or anything. I mean, we're, we're a scrappy team. We play hard and we play together. And I think that that really helped us win the game. Awesome. Thank you, Z. Thanks, guys. Thank you.